Thank you for joining Simply Cooking with Sean. If you're a lover of food, you're in the right place. So like, share, and subscribe. And when you do, click that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And to all of my returning viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for your continued support. In today's video, we will be preparing breakfast for a second day on our family trip. There are 18 family members um, on the trip here. We're gonna be preparing for this morning a simple breakfast of uh, waffles and fried chicken. So we're having chicken and waffles. The items that we will be using to prepare this morning's breakfast is chicken, of course. So we have some uh, chicken drumettes that um, have already been cleaned and washed and seasoned and sitting in the refrigerator overnight. We have some pancake and waffle mix. We have cooking oil, of course, to fry the chicken. And we have some chicken uh, breader to bread our chicken with before we drop it into the oil. So we'll go ahead and get this started. I have my mom as well. Mama come and say hello to the people. <laughs> my mom will be frying the chicken. She is the go-to person when we want something fried in, in our family. So that this is my mom and um, she will be in the video today frying the chicken while I prepare the waffles. So come along and we'll show you how we get this done. Okay, she's plugging in her deep fryer and she is going to start by putting the oil into the deep fryer. All right, she's got her oil in the deep fryer. She says she's gonna put it on 350. She's gonna let the oil get hot. And while she's doing that, while the oil is getting hot, she's gonna go ahead, tell them what you're gonna do. I'm going to get my chicken breaded. What I'm using is House of Archery Chicken Seasoned Frying Mix. Now I'm going to get my chicken breaded. I'll put the lid on it, the bowl. Give it a shake. As soon as the oil is hot, then we will begin frying our chicken. Once the oil got hot enough, my mom began to drop the chicken into the hot oil. Okay. She says not to overcrowd your fryer. Now we are good to go until this batch is done. So how do you know when it's done? Now when it's done, the chicken floats to the top. So we're gonna watch this chicken and wait for it to float. They are floating to the top. So I'm going to pick these out. They are ready to come out. I'm going to put them over here on the track. They are nice and golden brown. Yes, they are. Okay, now I'm going to put the second batch in. Okay, we're going to let these go. While my mom is working on the chicken, I'm going to go ahead and get the mix ready for the waffles so we can get those going as well. So I've got a box of pancake and waffle mix here. I'm just going to pour it into the bowl and add some water. And I'm just going to eyeball this. Just start out with a little bit of water. Just whisk it with my whisk. And I'll just add more water as I go along to, until I get it to the consistency that I desire for it to be. 
And for waffles, you don't want it to be um, too runny. For pancakes, you don't want it to be too runny either, but you just kind of eyeball it until you get it. Um, it's not going to be totally smooth, but you just want to make sure you whisk it enough to make sure all the mix is thoroughly mixed in there well. It's kind of the consistency that you want it to be. I'm going to pour the batter right into the measuring cup just to make it easier to fill the waffle. All right. All right, off to the waffle iron. All right, we're gonna spray the waffle iron. Make sure it's nice and coated. And end with the waffle mix into the waffle iron. Close it down and flip it over. And let it go until the light comes on. Light went out. Here we go. Nice waffle. All right, we're going to keep this going until we get enough made for everybody. As you can see, I was at the waffle iron for quite a while, getting all of these waffles done for our family breakfast. My mom was steady working on the chicken as well. Eventually, we got enough waffles made and chicken fried to start putting it all on a platter and placing it on the table so that everyone could have their breakfast. And this is how the chicken and waffles looked after we were all done and had it all on the platter. It was exciting times, you guys. We had so much fun on our family vacation and they enjoyed this crispy fried chicken and these waffles. If you're looking to try something a little bit different for your family breakfast, I encourage you to give this a try. Your family will likely love it if they love chicken and waffles. That concludes today's video. If you haven't done so already, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And when you do, click that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be blessed.